Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Tower and the Four of Swords, so definitely this is time speeding up. Um, this could be that some of you actually feel this, that like there's something coming in quickly, or you feel, I know we've had a lot of changes recently, so there could have been something that has been, um, it's almost like they're showing me everything is happening really quickly, like a time lapse, um, like a snake shutting the skin, but it's all like happening now. So there definitely might be a really big transformation going on currently in the collective, um, which is coming up here. And maybe some of you even feel like time is moving really quickly or um, time has been flying by or there's just something where you feel there's like a huge acceleration of energy that's happening now or could be happening soon um, with this tower energy. Okay, so tell me a little bit more then, Spirit. What is this about? What is this tower? What is this Four of Swords? Um, anything else about this energy? Ten of Wands. So, yeah, with the Tower and the Ten of Wands, it gives me the impression of, you know, the Ten of Wands does talk about carrying a load here up the hill or just like uh, a lot of heaviness here, stress, heaviness, but the Tower is almost like the breakdown of that. The, the kind of tower moment that comes in to help us to free ourselves from whatever that could be, that ten of wands, that pressure, that weight. Um, so let's get a little bit more into it to see what else comes up here and what details we can get here. So tell us a little bit more, spirits. Fortune meets opportunity, the black cat. Yeah, I'm hearing building up into this moment. So building up into the moment. So there's something that I feel has been building up for a while, kind of in the background here. Something with the tower, which feels like, again, with time speeding up and the ton of wands, it's almost like time. And actually, before I started the reading, I had seen a vision of um, you know, when you're exiting, what are they called? When you kind of go in circles, is it a roundabout or something? And then you take the exit and kind of go like that. There's something about that where like, there's been kind of the circle going in circles, not knowing which exit to take, or the exit was blocked or something. And then now the exit is opened. So there's maybe something where like, it's time to take the exit. It's time to take that specific exit that's coming in or that will be shown here. And with that black cat, fortune, fate, uh, fate, fortune meets opportunity, it feels like there's something very, very special coming up about this, like almost something which with the black cat, you know, it's like, it's like a very serendipitous, you know, time or it's something which feels like it's auspicious is the word too, auspicious time where like there's a certain opportunity coming in with the tower where time is speeding up to allow that opportunity to finally come in or to um, with that black cat. There's something about that black cat of like a, a guide coming up or somebody watching over you or is trying to orchestrate something to come in. So we'll have to see what that is. But I definitely feel like that's something coming through. So let's see. Let me actually confirm, what is this opportunity? Well, actually, just tell me a little bit more about this. Tell me a little bit more about this energy. Yeah, so there's the Seven of Wands. That's what I said with the Cougar or the Bobcat in the beginning. Defensive energy, Seven of Wands. There's something I feel with this Black Cat that again like you 
there's like a divine orchestration for you to seize something or to have that moment of like taking that exit. But I do feel like with the seven of wands coming up in the tower, somehow this is happening in a way to where it's being protected for you, or there could even be some obstacles here to get to that certain opportunity. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Yeah, I don't know. For whatever reason, this feels like an opportunity that like... We have to take... But it's like a risky opportunity or it's something that's other people want or it's like there's a competition for this opportunity the hierophant the nine of cups Okay, so this opportunity is something which is out of the sort of normal zone that you're used to or is away from kind of the, the sense of normalcy. So with that reference of kind of the exit, you know, taking that specific exit will lead to a certain reward that is only reserved for the brave is how it's coming up here. Um, and I want to, again, see what that is specifically, but it feels like this definitely has been a really kind of tough road, though, to get to this with this Two of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, um, the Four of Swords, the Tower. I mean, there's a lot of major energy here. And I'm hearing spirits say you've grown leaps and bounds. So for whoever this message is for, I feel like you need to know that you have grown leaps and bounds. Uh, maybe recently there's been like a huge change within your energy. Um, maybe this eclipse that we had recently that there's been a really big shift here. And I feel like that's why this fortune meets opportunity and the Hierophant is coming up here because there's a feeling of like you're ready to sharpen some type of skill or you're ready to be taken under the wing of somebody or something. Um, and But it feels like a very mysterious kind of energy here. Yes, we have share knowledge. You give and receive teachings, wisdom, and mentoring. Um, and then transition here at the bottom. You are in between worlds now as you begin a new phase. So that's kind of the energy of the exit a little bit here too, because I do think that you are in between two worlds or two different zones. And then this over here, for some of you watching, this could be a message for a specific group of people. If you are a teacher, leader, if you're being called to share something that you want to share, whatever that could be, something spiritual, writing, art, teaching, mentoring, whatever that could be here, it feels like you're being called to take that opportunity. And third eye open, your intuition is on point now and you see beyond the veil. Yeah, there's something about this. There's something with this Hierophant and the third eye open that right now for whoever this is for, you're able to see that exit that you couldn't see before um, to where it's kind of like maybe even metaphorically speaking, like a, an exit in your mind, an exit in your third eye has opened that can take you further into your gifts or further into your subconscious or further into your, yeah, your like your gifts or some type of wisdom, if that makes sense. 
and it feels like something which is like a preserved or reserved highway you know if that makes sense too it feels like with this nine of cups it's something which is for whoever this is you could be very tapped into spirit very connected to spirit and I'm just getting with the tower, there's some huge acceleration happening where time is speeding up and things are moving really quickly and rapidly, or they will be moving rapidly. So if you've been feeling that, if you've been feeling kind of like, you know, something is changing or you've been through a transition recently, I think what that's done is it's helped to crack open um, your third eye. It's helped to crack kind of a code of some sort to lead you into a different doorway or lead you into a different route. Um, and I feel like there's something about honoring yourself, honoring who you are, honoring your gifts um, with this Hierophant. So whoever this is that I'm tapping into, it feels like you, again, are very connected to spirit. I feel like there's certain things that are coming to the surface from maybe even past lives or some gifts that you're downloading or that information you're receiving which is ready to kind of be revealed now it's ready to come up now or to be shared now or to just emerge more now and with this over here so the seven of wands the four the five of pentacles and the two of swords Okay, so quiet retreat. You need time alone to restore your energy and health now. I feel like there's definitely like a big change that again has happened here for you, for some of you, which is going to be different. Maybe it's something that you were forced to change in your life recently, or you were not expecting this change to happen or to come in, or... Like I'm getting that when you go through this tower moment, if it's happened already, then you'll kind of know what this is. But if it's already or if it's going to happen in the future, there's a feeling of kind of a lot of. It's like if a tower falls, if a building falls, if like one shell around your aura kind of collapses, it causes a lot of noise. It causes a lot of disruption. So this can be through the form, it can take the form of hostilities arising in your environment, it can take the form of mental conflicts, it can be certain fears that come up here for you, um, things that you have to deal with when it comes to not being good enough or not feeling good enough. It's just like a lot of purging, I guess you can say, that I feel has happened here or that will be happening for somebody. But all of this is helping to lead you into... I'm hearing we're on your side or we are on your in your corner. So some of you may need to know that when it comes to a situation, especially if things have been challenging, spirit is on your side here during this. Or if you're going through with the transition, you have to maybe, you know, leave something old behind or there's some big change happening for you. Spirit is on your side with this. So you don't have to feel like you're left behind or that you are um, doing it on your own. I'm also getting something about light language here coming up. It could also be language, I guess, in general, if somebody's learning a new language. But it almost appears to me with that third eye when I'm looking at that of some type of ancient language coming up, which again, I'm kind of seeing as like light language. So maybe some of you are learning that or some of you that's like a confirmation for you, something with light language. This could also just be certain star guides coming up here to guide you as well and they want to share that they are here with you during this message um some of you for whoever this is for you have always had this certain mission there's a there's a lot of power within you and again i feel like your third eye is being cracked open but you may have felt again that you are not worthy or that you're not good enough or you may have went through a lot of um, troubles in your life earlier, childhood or otherwise. And I feel like with that tower here, that's also what that could be, is that as you transition, as you begin to um, shift into a higher vibration, 
those things can kind of come to the surface for you to look at or to heal. So I do think that's something coming through. So whoever this is that um, resonates with this, this is something that you've always been meant to do and you've always been meant to kind of take that exit. But a lot of things may have held you back or kept you from doing so. But the time is speeding up now to this to happen or to be the right time for this. And I'm also getting to that there is something about your physical vessel, your physical energy too, which might need to be sort of stretched or um, moved sort of movements that could that you could need to move your body somehow. We have infinite possibilities, skull of stars. And here we have jack-o'-lantern protection. Yeah, I mean, this really just feels like, even if, even though I think for this reading, this is for somebody who has this purpose or path, but even if it's not that, even if it's something, whatever you're doing, um, it feels like there's infinite possibilities that you're really meant to understand right now that you have. It's like with the tower and the time speeding up, there's like this collapsing behind you. And so your guides want you to know that there's more out there for you kind of, or there's more potential for you available with this transition. And with this kind of sacred path over here, or this secret path kind of, I think that's why the quiet retreat came up because some of you do need to spend more time here alone um, or make sure that you honor this and honor this path. So maybe needing to, uh, yeah, take some more time to yourself or more time alone. We have intuition, scrying. There's definitely like a strong with the third eye here too, and we have the crystal ball here and the intuition. Um, obviously a really strong message for somebody here who's very intuitive, very psychic, very tapped into spirit. And um, this is again, opening further for you, or maybe even opening for the first time if you, you know, have not had this happen yet. And I'm getting that as you go down this path there's going to be a lot of people and energies that want to gravitate towards you so you might actually have a lot of energies that want to take something from you not always like in a bad way but it could be in both good and bad you know it could be that if it's a business related there could be a lot of people that want to work with you if it's friendships if it's romantic partners people who are just drawn to your light and I think that you're going to start to see a big increase in those people and situations that kind of want to be around you more. But at the same time, it can also bring in like lower energies or entities that want something from you as well, from your light. And so that's why it's coming up as like a sacred path that you're being initiated onto because it's not something that for whoever this is, it's not like a light path. It's something that you're very protected to go down that path. And it's not something that you just can open any day and kind of go down there. It's like something which is definitely going to come with a level of risk, but you're very protected with that. So it's not something to worry about, but it just feels like it feels like you are also going to be having a, a really big increase in your manifestation abilities. Like you could even be somebody coming up soon here to where you're going to be able to call forth anything that you kind of want to. You can set the intention and then it's going to manifest. So with that third eye, it's like you're tapping into, again, a, a much higher wisdom and much stronger gifts than you have been accustomed to previously or used to. Um, and so this can, again, really bring about a lot of things into your life. You can manifest really quickly or you're going to find that you can manifest things really quickly.
but here we have solitude. So there's two messages here about solitude. So with the quiet retreat, there's definitely a need for solitude right now, or maybe you've already taken some time for solitude. Because what I'm getting is it's like you have to prepare. It's almost like if you're preparing for some, I don't know, like exam coming up and you have to meditate before you, you do that or, or to make sure that you get a good night's sleep the night before a big test or something like that. There's like a feeling of like you have to make sure that you are honoring your energy currently because what's to come is going to be much more expansive and intense than where you with this tower, like this transition that you're moving through. So the more time that you can kind of spend alone and make sure that you are replenishing yourself, that will be the best thing to do here for this upcoming kind of venture. I'm also seeing artwork or painting. So some of you here could be an artist or it could also just represent a lot of like, you know, brush. It's like you have infinite possibilities, infinite brush strokes, infinite colors that you can use to paint your canvas. There's a lot of possibility, I feel, with this path that's opening. Um, and with the third eye, it could even be a very creative time for somebody opening to where you have many creative talents to share with the world, many, um, much wisdom, much, much um, talent. We have ancestors here too. I'm hearing something about tomorrow, which I feel like they're just saying like tomorrow is in a general term of like the future, something about tomorrow. Um, Okay, one more message and then I'm being told that's that's it. One more message here. We have communion, eagle, and we have the shaman here, ancient healing wisdom. So yeah, there's a lot of power in power in this message here, ancient healing wisdom, um, wisdom teachings and mentoring. So you could also have uh, definitely ancestors that are coming up in this message here to communicate with you. And I'm just getting that there's actually a really strong message coming up for some, again, it feels like like this initiation into maybe some of you are a shamanic practitioner or you're going down that path or there's something very sacred about this path that's opening and I'm almost getting a certain guide or um, ancestor who's kind of been testing you out like are you ready for this or not or like putting you through even a series of tests if you've been going through a lot of ups and downs maybe or you've been um, having difficulties with that tower in the four of swords maybe you've even been in solitude for a while or you've been healing for a while and there's like something coming up here about like a strong connection, a strong communication with spirit where you have a deep connection to your ancestral roots and also to your, again, like something you're here to do, your past life. See, we have DNA, um, ceremony, invocation and celebration. So yeah, but there's like a specific or a group, whatever this is, I don't know specifically what it is, but when I looked at that black cat, the black cat could even mean something or cats in general, because I did see that bobcat earlier too. Um, there could even be something about like with the bobcat that I had seen earlier of protecting your kind of legacy or protecting your path forward. And um, again, this is like a very sacred sort of space, a sacred exit that you're taking. And um there definitely could be like it has to be you have to go about it carefully which i think is why spirit has been trying to prepare you for this and wherever you're going is very safe because it's protected but at the same time it does feel like it's something which you have to be really ready for emotionally physically um spiritually and that could be why you're being tested here even even if you don't know it or maybe you are communicating because for this um reading you're probably very connected again to spirit so if you are aware of this you could be really like communicating with spirit about 
this and about like, am I ready for this next initiation? But if you're not hearing that or you're not communicating with spirit yet in that way, or you just don't know about this part, um, <clears throat> there's definitely, and I don't know why my right ear is like burning hot. So I don't know what that's about, but there's a feeling of, um, what was I saying now? Yeah, you may not know that you're being tested, but you are being tested. And it's not something that is for the faint of heart, kind of. Like, it's a very, again, like a big path. And it doesn't even have to be only, like, limited to your, whatever you're doing. Teaching, wisdom, mentoring. Although I think that's the main part of it. But it could also be, too, with the Nine of Cups here. Um, some of you could just be very psychically gifted in general and... This is kind of about your future, you know, something that you are calling forth, like manifestations in general that you're calling forth here right now. And it's like, again, there's like a test of, are you really ready for that? Because you, you may have to go through this series of tests first before you get to that. So that's what I'm getting here. So I think I'll leave it here. I hope that this reading could help whoever it's meant for. Definitely a very powerful message. So if you did resonate with it, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear. Um, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time. Lots of love.